We just got done zooming with Chandler. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And I think I'm still jealous of his apartment. I know. It's so cool. It's three stories and a rooftop. I mean, I was just shocked. I was like, dang. <laughs> you know, the one thing I forgot to ask because we kind of got onto a different topic was what he's been doing during quarantine to keep himself busy. I know that he was in Atlanta for a little bit. Oh, he was. Yeah, but I forgot to ask all that. But we talked for almost an hour. We talked I about know. a bunch of stuff. We took questions from the fans and the audience. So we we answered uh, mainly him. I, answered, I, I chipped in a few too. I wanted to make sure that we asked nice. Chandler all the questions. And we got to a lot um not all but we're gonna be around here and doing some other interviews and i think i'll go back through the comment section if there was no if there's questions that were missed we can always answer them as well because i just always want to provide as much value for the audience as possible i saw a bunch came into once we were done and i was like oh we got to save these but it was a great interview so wonderful connecting with him he's such a lovely human and he has some really cool things in the works coming up that I think everyone listening will be really interested to hear because yeah. I was just like, wow, really? It's yeah. Just cool. Yeah. We had a really good convo. And uh, so we're going to cue that up here so that you all can enjoy. And I will say we're filming this uh, Saturday. So right. even though we're releasing this on Tuesday when Wilson exits, mm. um, we did this a couple days before. And um, just to kind of give you some uh, background on that sure. so we didn't just watch it but we, we basically touched on it on based on the script a little bit and, and yes. we talked on that but I, I definitely want to watch it on Tuesday and then we'll probably do another recap later in the Go week Friday, of it or something yeah. but um, without spoiling Chandler's news this is why we did it a few days earlier and not Tuesday so we'll we'll let the the zoom combo that will queue up here in just a minute uh, explain all of that but we appreciate Chandler so much yeah. he, this is the fourth time he's come on our show wow. and it's just so so kind we, we don't take it for granted when a friend comes on and spends 30 minutes to an hour with us sometimes two hours of their time mm-hmm. just chatting and so uh, we love you Chandler thank you for your time and uh, but let's hop into this Welcome, everyone, to the Freddie and Alyssa Show, episode 127. Oh. We are cranking them out. We've been putting up uh, content here on YouTube for a couple years now, a little over a couple years. We've done a lot of podcasts, a lot of more, a lot more podcasts to come. Uh, so please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the absolute world to us. And also, it'll keep you up to date with what we're doing because we're going to be launching uh, some additional projects and we're going to be uh, continuing to put out two podcasts a week. And we even have a little small announcement here that we're going to share um, pretty soon that's going to be an additional podcast episode. But I guess I just gave it out, but I'll give the details. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, subscribe. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, please like and follow. If you're listening on iTunes or another platform, um, giving us a review or a five star review would be awesome if you think we're up to the task. So uh, we appreciate you so much. And then I also want to share while we're all keeping safe out there, if you want to do it with a little fashion, we've got Flip some. It, baby. Oh, I'm always upside down I'm with them. Upside. You know, I had the golf mask on the other day and it was upside down. <laughs> so that's the cool thing, too. You can wear them upside down. But we have a pride mask. We've got an hourglass yes, mask. This is one of our best sellers. And so is the uh, leopard. You can see Alyssa's been wearing that with your lipstick. I have uh, to lipstick. wash it. Don't judge me. <laughs> uh, sunflower is also flying off the shelves. And then we've got these two. We have a bunch, too. I'm not going to show it, all baby. of them. Flip it. Flip it. Is it upside down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anchors. Golden there anchors. Go. I love that one. Too. And some cherries. Ooh. You can tell the ones you wear. They all have lipstick on them. <laughs> uh, and then uh, lastly, we are uh, bookable on Cameo. Mm-hmm. I, I sang uh, Jean who turned 60, happy birthday around the neighborhood yesterday. It actually sounded really good when you played it back. I go, okay, Freddie. It it was good. Usually I feel like it's off key, but it sounded great. I I don't know. Maybe I was just, maybe it was like the warm air on my throat. But uh, So happy birthday, Gene. Happy birthday, yeah. Uh, But yeah, if there's any kind of happy birthday or any advice or any uh, anything, we're open, you know, as long as it's reasonable. Or you want to hear Freddie's great singing voice. People shouldn't pay for that. Don't don't book us on Cameo and hear me sing. Ask Spend to the money sing somewhere songs, else. Please. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's at um, cameo.com forward slash FM Smith 319. And then one other announcement I want to make just because I, I know there's going to be a lot of people watching right now and uh, I just want to uh, keep everybody up to date. Um, back in May, we launched, uh, YouTube has a, has a, a, a service, I guess you call it members only Mm -hmm. uh, and you do so by hitting a join button so if you've watched different um, youtubers you'll see a join button on your phone and if you click join um, you're able to become a member 
And it's a private group, just like a private Facebook group, a private Facebook community group where we post additional videos behind the scenes. We go live uh, once a month and answer questions and we wanna produce a lot of value in that community because to be a producer of the show and help us grow this channel, um, if you wanna pitch in, it's $9.99 a month, $9, 10 bucks a month. Um, and we're, gonna, we're using that money to help grow our channel. And because you're putting in your hard earned money, we wanna give you extra value and we wanna add some really fun bloopers behind the scenes and we do all of that. And we're also going to be launching a spinoff of the Freddie and Alyssa show. And we're going to call it the Freddie and Alyssa show fueled up because we've gotten a lot of great feedback. Anytime we're hyped up on coffee or we're <laughs> drinking beer or something. So um, starting September 14th is going to be our first Freddie and Alyssa show spinoff fueled up. And it's going to be in the members only group. So we're not taking away anything that you're used to. We're still putting out our vlogs, still putting out two Freddie and Alyssa show podcast right here on YouTube for everyone on Wednesday and Friday but we're gonna slowly integrate the Fueled Up into the members only so that by November, there'll be an additional podcast every single week for the members only. And it's gonna really help us build this channel. And if um, and if you wanna support in that way, it would mean the world to us. Um, so that's some exciting stuff and we'll be touching on that more. I don't wanna spend too much time because everyone's just like, Freddie, if you talk for one more second without- <laughs> like We need without, Chandler. We need Chandler <laughs> now. All right, I read your minds. Um, let's cue it up. Let's cue it up, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the three-time Emmy Award-winning actor, Chandler Massey. <laughs> but yeah, I got to say, it's, it's really nice seeing you because I think this is the longest gap since when you were off the show that we haven't seen each other. Oh, it's been yeah. like seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. In February, right? You can't, you were here. Yeah. 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 We did, we did the podcast right as it was coming, coming to an end. And then obviously the world changed. <laughs> yeah. That was bizarre. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Well, cause that, that was interesting. Cause when, when I looked back at the, um, I think we filmed it around like February 13th, I think the episode when we talked about leaving the show, yeah. but then we had seven months where we couldn't talk about the ending. And if you watch yeah. that podcast back, we were trying to talk without giving it away, but now that this is airing after it airs, we can yeah. talk about yeah. the exit. Um, what, what's your, uh, first of all, how, how, how are you feeling seven months later now that you've had time to digest the action yeah. of the days? Um, I feel good. I mean, I, I, mean, I it's, it's almost, it seems like longer ago than it was given everything that's, that's happened. Um, since then, I mean, uh, yeah, I think it, uh, I feel like the farther, I mean, I always had, you know, even in the moment had fond, you know, memories and, uh, opinion of, of everything about that show, but now like even more so it's nice to look back on and feel pride, you know, it's almost nostalgic already where before yeah. I was, I enjoyed it, but it was still like responsibility I had where I had to work. Yeah go up I'm like what's next and it was part now yeah, well I get, said. this is the first time I've been able just to kind of be an audience member and a fan without the responsibility of being you know currently working on it so it's been kind of cool to sit back as an audience member and just see this unfold and even yeah. the baby storyline we were filming in th around Thanksgiving we knew we weren't getting Allie's baby and then it took until like July or August for the fans to know what was happening so we were sitting on that forever yeah <laughs> not not easy <laughs> no but um i'm glad we can finally yeah we can talk about everything now well, well what's your what's your opinion then on the, on the final episode because when the when we saw the flashbacks that's how we knew that it wasn't a short trip to arizona and back that was a pretty <laughs> yeah. big wrap up yeah uh, i i really liked it i mean you know i mean now uh, lo looking back i mean it's the, the door is always kind of open, you know, with, with like soap exits, even if you die, but like a, you know, a last line of like goodbye Salem for now is about like as open, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's, I, I like that they, they, it seems like they walk the line well of giving us, you know, a nice concluding arc. They kind of put a button on the Wilson love story while also, you know, just leaving open, open the possibility for the story. It may be, who knows, at some point in the future to, have more chapters. Well, have you seen the departure preview that NBC is playing right now? Because we've been hearing a lot about it. We watched it 
but you both are in it. There's a fall, there's a fall preview of all the characters that are coming back. And in the fall, yeah. preview, there's the fall a, there's preview. a, uh, a cut of me and you, but you're, you're clean oh. even in it. Oh, huh. Didn't you, <laughs> That's a, didn't you finish I, with the beard? I, yeah, yeah, definitely. Finish with the beard. I wonder, maybe they just didn't like that look and they're like, we got to use some older, <laughs> older footage. Yeah. Because a lot of people think y'all are coming back now, but unless there's anything you know that Freddie doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I guess it's sort of suspicious that I'm currently clean shaven, but no, it's not. Um, <laughs> it doesn't help, but, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help, but no, I haven't done, yeah, I haven't done anything or heard anything. I haven't either. I, I mean, it's been completely, uh, like, silent. Like, I haven't heard anything in the... I mean, I think, and not that I, not that I expected to, even if that was, that were in the plans, right? It seems like they have their hands full with just, just restarting production, right? And all the new safety protocols and whatnot. And um, yeah, and it, they got a lot of irons in the fire. And it, and it feels too, if, if I look at it from their point of view, they have a million storylines to write in and write out and, and the, the comings and goings. And we yeah. had such a nice button that it's almost like, oh, let, like Will and Sonny are good for a minute. We don't have to rush yeah. them back because we've tied it up so beautifully. So, yeah. uh, so I'm kind of, you know, I, I get it. Like we never really heard much other than when, when uh, Albert that one time was like maybe the summer, but that was before the world shut down. And um, yeah. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm curious too, and then we'll come back to the last uh, episode again. What was your, uh, so, so what's your plan then moving forward? Cause what, what are you, what are you thinking of um, if and when they ever call? Like, where's your head at with all of that? Well, uh, I guess it would just depend on the timing. You know, I, uh, uh, there are a lot of signs uh, or, or a lot of nudges that the universe has given me to take some time away from LA for a while. And so, and I'm, again, I'm doing that. I'm going to be living in Atlanta um, starting, uh, uh, well, I'm going to Tuesday and then however long it takes for me to get get a drive across country yeah um so I you know I mean obviously I would be open to it um you know if if it if it happens that's how I'm uh, but uh yeah I won't be it will be a little longer yeah that's the um because that's what we were kind of thinking too and it's really ironic that that this all worked out even with our leases being so close together. Um, that yeah. we're taking the road trip and driving. Are you going <laughs> the Southern route? Like, are you going to be driving? Yeah. Palm Springs. Yeah. Through like El Paso, Texas. Yeah. I'm actually going to pick my, my grandfather up uh, in Phoenix. He's flying to Phoenix on Tuesday morning and he's, he's never done like the cross country road trip. And uh, he wants to do it. So we're going to hit the Grand Canyon and the Painted Desert and like the Petrified Forest and a couple other things like along the way and maybe make like a week of it. Yeah. Where does he live currently? He lives in, in Georgia. Aww. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, so, so you'll be able to in just to drive with you. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I, I was, uh, my, my family, he's, he's sort of, you know, he's very insistent. Um, <laughs> we had some, you know, safety and health concerns, right? You know, because of COVID, but he really wants to do it. And, um, you know, it, it can't, can't say no <laughs> to that. Nor would I, nor would I want to under normal circumstances, you know, so I think it'll be, it'll, it'll be cool. It'll be a good, um, bonding experience. Yeah. Of course. Have you mapped out what stops you're going to take at? Well, we're, we're stopping at, uh, we're staying at the Grand Canyon for two days. I think we're going to, we're stopping in Oklahoma city and Memphis. Those seem like the logical, you know, I, I, my, I gotta, I'm going to have to do a couple of uh, actually a bunch of stops along the way to charge my car. Um, all the local. So, right. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> all of, yeah. Oh, I got to find a whole foods every few hours. Um, no, uh, <laughs> but they, they actually have like Tesla superchargers along that, that, road and I'll, all i got to do is put in my home at my the atlanta the address i'm going to in atlanta and it'll route me through the charging stations as needed so it's kind of cool wow. it like plan i don't it plans it out for me how long can you go with your car without charging 
the the range is the range is 310 miles so okay. yeah what's your kind of like your a tank of gas you think of a uh car driving itself <laughs> I, I, I hope he's all right with it because i'm not planning on doing much manual driving wow. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna i'm gonna put it on and put my my face my eye mask on no, and, <laughs> oh no, no obviously that's illegal but um but yeah, I, I am looking forward to that for sure. Cause I've, I've done cross country three times in like a, you know, in, in a car without any sort of autopilot and um, it gets a little boring. So it'd be nice to take like the, that tedious where you have to, you have to be hands, you know, hands on the wheel and like driving it the whole time. What's your plan when you get to, um, when you get to Atlanta, are you going to uh, work or audition? Or are you going to rent or going to stay with family? Like what's kind of your whole your plan. Um, I, I'm gonna find the. Uh, I'm gonna find a place in hopefully in the city. My 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 family lives outside the city, so I'll probably stay with them for the rest of September and and use that time to find a place. And uh, sorry, I don't know if you hear that. Uh, uh, swagger. Okay, I think he's good. And then um, I I've actually been interviewing. I I interviewed at this a couple uh. Um, like business, uh, like economic consulting firms. And uh, that's, um, you know, I got the economics degree from college. So, um, and those, th that's actually gone really well. So hopefully I'll be able to work as like a, as an analyst or at, uh, as a consultant at one of those firms um, wow. for the time being. Yeah. Have you been really craving just yeah. a little normalcy going from, you know. An yes. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, totally. I mean, it's, 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 I, I was surprised at how fun exercising like the analytical part of my brain was after so long of just doing creative stuff, creative, creative, creative. And it's, it's nice to uh, get some stimulation from like the other, the other half of the brain, I suppose. That's that's oh, where we've really been we've been craving too. I, I don't know if it's maybe just our age mixed with the world right now, mixed with you know wanting to start a family or being closer to family too. But there's just um, just the more you look around, you're just it's just a crazy. Unless you've lived in LA for 10, 15 years, I don't think I can even explain what it's like. Really, like you kind of have to be here to know the yeah. nuance. How it's just different from just a more um structured more normal air quotes life of just yeah uh, you just live like i feel out here it's just always work or it's always about the industry like you can't go anywhere without it being about the industry and um yeah i remember johnny depp and said that's why he lives in paris he's like i just want to talk about cheese like i don't want to talk about yeah <laughs> yeah it's truly i mean it's 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 easy to forget that there's there's a world outside of the out of show business you know when you live in LA for so long because that's all everybody that's all anybody consumes and talks about and um but yeah so it'll be nice to expand the horizons a little bit if you think about it too though we all essentially grew up in LA and in a very interesting time pre-social media and then the tail end of social media but we were all teenage like kids essentially yeah. in the beginning it's crazy yeah, uh, yeah, for real. Uh, 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 it's. I was just reflecting on. I feel like the the most growing up I did was probably, you know, twenty four to thirty, like that six year period. Maybe 20, more so than you. You know, you think you grow up, grow up, and then you're eighteen, and then you're an adult. But that's not really how how it works. At least it didn't work for me that way. That was yeah. I, exactly mine. It was almost as if I was throwing gas on the fire of who I was of at 16 all the way to 24. And then yeah. I go, oh, wait, no, I got to, <laughs> I got to grow a little and make better decisions. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, this, these past six, seven years have been like the most growing and, and uh, so we're just ready to explore. And I just love that we've had, we have this book of work together and that it's something I'm just super proud of. It was long enough and we accomplished so much that I look back yeah. on LA with just a big smile. I had, it had a lot of hardships, but what a cool thing that we were able to have a through line during all of this growth as a person and living out here and actually making money in the acting industry, which is rare. Yeah, <laughs> true. Especially consistent. 
consistent yeah. money too. You know, just have just have a consistent job for eight years or however long it was. Yeah. And then you got to study too and go to school in California. That true. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. How was the interview process going for a uh, like a corporate job that you didn't have to go on tape? It, <laughs> <laughs> it was actually uh, so. There's this one company that I've done I, now. I've done four interviews for, and I, I you know, I, I thought that it was. I don't know why I thought it was, you know, interviewing in the the real world was you go in, you have a firm handshake and then you talk and they're like, all right, you got the job like right there in the room. But that's, I guess it's really not, it's multiple steps. Uh, so I've done, uh, mo what I've done recently was like the technical analysis, technical assessments using um, this, this program called Stato, which is used, which you can use to run like regression analysis and um, make, like econometric models um and uh so it's like tests i feel like I, you're, you're doing timed uh tests and uh and i think to see if they, it's so they can see if you have the technical expertise so there's the technical aspect and then you sit down with them or you have like a zoom call with them and they sort of try and get a sense of if you'd be a good fit if your personality would mesh well with the company yeah so they do a little chemistry read almost. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there's the line reading, which is the, <laughs> oh my the technical stuff. And then there's the chemistry read. <laughs> That's perfect. It's all the same. There's no yeah. escaping. <laughs> no, there's no, no. Yeah. That, that was sort of a. Do they have any idea of like on your resume, is your work experience there of being an actor? Is that yeah. weird? Uh, yeah. yeah. It was, I think it was a little weird, but I think it helped me at least get, you know, uh, get that first interview. Cause I think they were curious, like, why does this guy, you know, who doesn't really have any experience working at like a, you know, data analysis firm or consulting firm, but he's on a soap opera. Like what, 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 <laughs> <laughs> why, why does, what? Good the, icebreaker. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, and, and I mean, I think it's, you know, as much at first I was a little nervous I'm like I don't have any of that conventional experience I'm sort of starting from scratch but I think more and more bus businesses are starting to see the value in and and people with diversity of experience and so someone doesn't doesn't necessarily didn't do the you know the railroaded like uh, track that you're everyone you, you're supposed to do you go to college and get entry level and go and then just to have a slightly different perspective on on the world and um, I think they I, I, at least I hope that's maybe my wishful thinking, but I hope they would appreciate that. So then did they ask you why you would want to make the pivot from working in entertainment to they did? And what did you yeah. say? Oh, uh, well, I, I said, I mean, I, I was, uh, you know, I've been passionate about economics in general for, you know, almost as long as I have been passionate about acting. So uh, it's something that I pursued as a hobby through, throughout days. Um, and, and, you know, and it just felt like the the right time I, for me to transition and try and see how, if I'm good at, you know, if I'm good at this, if I can provide value to to somebody. Um, so, yeah. Oh, you have so to cool. keep me up good to date, luck. man. I love that. I'm really interested yeah. in how, awesome. uh, how the first day is going to be and what you're going to do. And, and I feel like you and I have that, that, you know, we're, we're going through the exact same thing just because we both left the show together and how yeah. that we're both, moving and we're both like pivoting out of the industry for a little bit kind yeah. of or just mm -hmm. in general and so we're both kind yeah. of through this new life of new chapter of not having yeah. entertainment and uh in the traditional sense you know like i'm still gonna have an agent and we're still gonna audition on tape but it's just got to be something really really awesome for for me to yeah. want to kind of um like you know, someone mentioned to me before, would you do like a Lifetime or Hallmark movie? And it's kind of like, like, yeah, but also it's kind of, you know, like not really. I don't know. Not that there's anything wrong with yeah, it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Somewhere for two weeks and get paid a little bit and just to be on TV, you know, like I'd really want to love the role. And yeah. that's what I kind of want to do for acting now is instead of acting for money, act for fun, but make money outside yes. of the industry. I guess that's the better way I was trying to explain that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad I have somebody to go through this with too. Like we got, I'm sure there's going to be some struggles uh, and some bumps, but at least we be there to support each other. And we're only yeah. like a 30 minute flight away. It's crazy. True. Yeah.
So it'll yeah, be nice. We uh, should get dinner like, every few months or something, you know, or just like meet up. Absolutely. Or yeah. Go, meet up at a, at a beach halfway or something, God. you know, <laughs> like for a weekend, like get a, yeah. Fine. Uh, that yeah. That'd be fun. awesome. That would be. Yeah. yeah. And it's, just, it's just funny that it all worked out that we're, that we're both going to, to neighboring States. You know, it's not like you're going to go to Wyoming and then we're in like Maine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're right. We're yeah. They're right next to each other. Yeah. So then are you just going to focus solely in Georgia on this new venture? Like, have you ever thought if you would audition on tape or is that just kind of paused for now? I, no, I think I'm in the same place as, as, as you both. Like, uh, I think I, yeah, I mean, of course I'd be open to it. I mean, it, there's really no, it's, especially like you said, with everything being on tape, there's no excuse just not to do it. Right. You can make the time. And, uh, but I think I'd, want to reserve my energy for projects that I actually am, am passionate about. Um, so yeah, I think we're in, we're in the same boat. Do you, do you ever feel, you know, what's really hard for me to completely like walk away from the industry is I always think to myself, I've got legit 10 years of nonstop acting in a skill that I've built. Yeah. Like I didn't build yeah. a resume doing anything else. Like we've done our online stuff. We're doing content, but that kind of mix in with entertainment a little bit, but the, yeah. uh, it'd be hard to walk away completely when we've built such a skill that yeah, I know totally. we money with. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking about that too. And, I, and I'm thinking of ways I can sort of translate, you know, like how can that skill translate into a new industry? If that's, you know, the path that I, I take, you know, and if I'm, you know, if I got to rub elbows with, you know, business types that I don't like, I can act like I do like them, you know, <laughs> draw on my, <laughs> my time and days of our lives. <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I totally get you. I mean, cause that's, we, this is, a, we built a career doing this, you know, and um, that, that's, that's like the strongest foundation that we have right now. So it's sort of scary to think about trying to start another you know build a a new foundation that may not overlap that much but yeah well and I, and I think too the only hesitation that I really have with the industry is the uncertainty and this mm -hmm. um non-structured life and I'm so much seeking structure and so that's yeah. why even for us we, as we're building our YouTube and Facebook and and being able to produce our own videos I want to act it's just the tedious, I don't want to just sit in California and go on seven auditions to hope. Yes. To it's like, if we can produce our own short films or an independent film, I would love to yeah. do that. And then just release it online. Yeah. You know, like I want to act yeah. it's not a way to monetize that, but do it on our own accord rather than waiting for the business. And, and, and the business is all weird right now. It's, yeah. it's all kind of shut down and not shut down. And Yeah. You know, things are coming back slowly, but it's still, yeah. I mean, there's even more uncertainty now. And it was already a really, like you said, not a business you want to be in if you like stability. So, yeah, that's what I, I think. That's once we get a little stability, I just want like a house. Like, I, I just want to own something <laughs> yeah. 15 so times. And I just never felt I had a home. And then we're talking about um, having kids in the next two to three years and just to raise them away from our four grandparents, the four grandparents, our parents would yeah. seem so weird. Like, I don't yeah. want to do that. So yeah. I was like, maybe, you know, there's, there's Atlanta that's close, really close for you that there's the industry still in. So there's, I'm open. I, I'm not even really afraid. I'm aware of what's going on, but yeah. I'm really optimistic. I think one of the the silver lines linings of you know, COVID sweeping the I mean okay I, I don't I, uh, of sweeping the world and especially LA is that now I, I think there's no before there was a disadvantage I think to to living outside of LA you can put yourself on tape right but this that's but this is where you sort of have to be physically if you want to be up for you know the big roles and whatnot I don't think that's the case anymore I mean I think you can live anywhere and you know, the first, at least the first few stages of any, you know, audition process is going to be digital, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I think um, we're really not sacrificing much by, by leaving. Yeah. And it'd be fun just to fly in. Like imagine booking a role 
in yeah. San Diego and you're shooting for four weeks, you just get like an Airbnb or the show. If it's a big movie or show, we'll pay for your, we'll, we'll put you up. Yeah. On the board. Yeah. You just fly yeah. In <laughs> and you're paying your mortgage back home, you know, towards something or yeah. you're doing whatever. So yeah, overall, I'm just really, I'm really excited about it. It's just all kind of lined up and the world just kind of took us and both of us in this direction at this time. I and mean, we were leaving LA 28 days apart. So yeah. crazy. Randomly, yeah. like it all happened yeah. due to yeah. the lease. And, um, and so that's what we're going to do. And, um, and it's really interesting too, because I'm curious if they're going to continue anything with the dual app or if they're going to do anything with Peacock or if they're going to do anything, um, if, if they could ever shoot in Atlanta. Like if they ever did anything with yeah. our storyline. Imagine if we if oh. they just hired a local, like three cameras yeah. or two cameras, audio, lighting, some hair and makeup, and we could yeah. shoot something and we could be in Arizona yeah. or we move to Atlanta and hmm. I fly yeah. three minutes and we shoot for three, four days and it's good content for like two months or something. But I, I, yeah. I don't know. I'd be open to ask them if they ever called, if they were, if I was like, well, let's all talk about it, obviously. But, um, you know, I, I don't want to see Wilson just leave forever, but then there's also times that sometimes it is good forever, but I think there's so much more to tell and maybe we could do it in a creative way through zoom or through uh, <laughs> shooting in Atlanta or something like a website yeah. spinoff or something. I don't know. It'd be something to talk yeah. about. Yeah. I like that. Cause we have Ari. Never. Remember we, remember we talked about, um, we're on the road and we're with yeah, the, yeah. Like the gang is after us or whatever. I forget what we were talking yeah. about. We were a thriller and we're trying to like save yeah. Gabby or something. And yeah. Yeah. That would, that would be. <laughs> we'll, we'll ask, we'll ask really Dave fun. for $2 million. We'll say, give us 2 million and we'll go shoot some episodes on the road oh, with explosions. Yeah. <laughs> shooting yes. a bunch of countries. We'll test everybody. And we'll blow them two million bucks, but it'll be entertaining, I promise. <laughs> it would, I'm sure. <laughs> but that's, um, but no, we'll we'll see what happens. And um, I also want to ask you um, uh, a bunch of we ha we got a yeah. bunch of questions, so I don't want to keep you too long. But uh, we have a, a lot of questions from the fans, and I just wanted to kind of get every, as many questions as possible and kind of do a little bit of yeah, a totally not a speed round because I think some can be <laughs> elaborated on, but. Um, let me see which ones we haven't touched on. I think this is a good one to start with is uh, when you went back, because you went back a week after me. So I remember I wrapped up my last scene and then you had a hiatus and then went back. Yeah. How, how was that goodbye for you? Was it, was it a, a big deal? Was it kind of just normal? Like what was that experience for you leaving the show? Because we, we didn't get to experience it together. Yeah, I, I, th I think it was pretty normal. I mean, Albert just came out and said, um, you know, I, I wasn't expecting this, but like after my last scene, like, is there anything you want to say? And like, oh, uh, yeah, thanks. Like, thanks for, you know, <laughs> thanks for, for a great time. Um, and that was pretty much it. Just saying goodbye to everyone in the cast. And yeah, it was small. I didn't really, I wouldn't, wouldn't have wanted it any other way on it. Honestly, if anything, I would have preferred just to sort of sneak out, do the Irish goodbye thing. <laughs> We just heard that the other day. Yeah, it, it's nice just to yeah. Kinda, yeah, hug everyone goodbye and and uh, and then and then also too, what's it? Um, I know the answer to this, but I'm curious about your your uh, take on it. Is how how do you feel like when Billy was saying goodbye to us in character, or when you you're saying goodbye to other characters, or me saying goodbye to Uncle Vic, but it's John Aniston. Um, what's your experience saying yeah. goodbye in the scene, even though you're saying goodbye kind of in real life too? I, you know, I feel like it kind of, it, it's, it's a substitute for saying goodbye in real life. You know, you get all those feels, right, in the scene. So you don't even really need to, like, it could serve both pur both purposes. <laughs> yeah. It, it makes the goodbye actually more real for the character, because deep down, oh, you know, yeah. you're saying goodbye, and you can use the actual goodbye in it, and it kind of grounds. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Love yeah. that. All right, I'm going to hop in here with one, too. Um, for both of you, would you consider doing another fan event together once it's safe to do so? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if Freddie, if you were going to be there, yeah, definitely. Maybe in Georgia or Florida. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like we get a pretty good turnout in those states. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. it's a good place to to because I think they have a lot. I, I think there's been many in Atlanta and there's been many in Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they have good turnout. Good turnouts. Yeah, so maybe once everything clears up, you know, maybe we can plan something that's safe for everyone to travel and we can do a little like reunion or something at one point. So yeah, I'm open to that we'll for sure. Forever tour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did every. <laughs> Let us know. Are you guys down? Yes or no? <laughs> you have to tell your new boss. Yeah, you know how you hired an actor? Well, I got fan events all across the country. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put my Emmy at my desk and that'll replace me yeah. while I'm gone. Yeah, it'll be just as productive. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, what, was your, um, what was your screen test like for days? Mm. Did you screen test or no? No, I, I actually did one audition with Marnie, just with Marnie, and then another audition, and then two more auditions in, I guess it was like Greg's office, you know, across the street, and, and like the, that Corday, that office area, and uh, didn't even read with any cast members or anything. There was no, because <laughs> I, I mean, I think they were trying to keep it on the down low that the characters being recast which is why that they didn't uh oh, someone bring, already bring me them. on yeah yeah, yeah. Is there someone yeah some uh some guy was playing will before wow yeah. do you know for how long and I, I i i think it was like a year i remember finding out i got the job before i found out what the character was and I'm like, whoa, cool. I'm going to play some character on Days of Our Lives. And then I started going back and watching episodes. And I'm like, I'm sure I'm going to be in the, 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 the young, you know, the young kid storyline. So I was watching and thinking like, man, this is going to be cool to be like working with these people. And then I found out, oh, I'm going to be that guy. <laughs> I'm going to take that guy's job. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that sort of... gosh. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> I wonder why they recast him. That's how it works. Maybe stuff behind the scenes. You know, I don't know. I mean, I think they, they, they. I guess they don't do it as much now, unless they, unless it's completely, absolutely necessary. But um, maybe just wasn't, wasn't working. Um, yeah, I didn't inquire. Yeah. yeah, and it was probably pre. It was pre social media at its height, so you probably didn't. Uh, hear too much about the from the fans if they enjoyed the recast or not they obviously are happy now but i wonder at the at the moment if people were like who's this new guy actually i i i did uh because i i made the mistake of going out and like looking for it right which i learned quickly shouldn't do and i think there are some forums that i found and nobody and I, i i realized nobody likes a recast in the beginning right um because you've you've grown attached to seeing like you know one person play the character so it was definitely a rough start but i think i ended up um hopefully winning winning some people over yes yeah. You did. oh yeah was days your first project you had ever booked because you were pretty young yeah and not my first one but my first like contract role for sure wow yeah so crazy well speaking of the um of building into your character. Uh, this is me segueing. How am I doing on the segue? Good. <laughs> that was great. Flawless. Um, <laughs> did, had, when did you? Uh, when did you know? Uh, it says, how, you know, do you know how important your role was to the world? I feel that you you do. Um, wh- when did you know how important it was? Let me, let me add a little of my twist in it uh, first. So, did you know yeah. how important it is? And was there a moment when it became important, or was it always important? I think it was always important, but not for the same reason. Um, and like when I first found out when, when the executive producer at the time, Gary Tomlin called me into his office and said, we're going to do like Will's coming out storyline. I thought, wow, uh, this isn't, I, I, I knew it was going to be really important um, as from like an acting perspective, right? Like I'm really going to have to commit and, and work hard to make this, you know, seem realistic. Um, but it wasn't really until, you know, you, you came on, on screen and we had, we like started 
like the romance started happening. And then until we had like our first kiss, like I remember just uh, so many people reaching out on Twitter and, and other, you know, other things I'd get like letters and that's in the mail, you know, detailing how they'd never, they're so happy they're able to like see this right on their TV screens and it, and it helped them, you know, talk to their, you know, parents or, or, you know, their loved ones or friends and they were able to, you know, understand and, and sort of see that person's pain and journey through, through Will and Sonny. And that's when it became, started becoming important for a completely different reason, right? When I realized it was bigger than myself and bigger than, it was more important, you know, to do this for those people rather than just for myself, because I wanted to feel like I, I did a good acting job, you know? Mm -hmm. I agree. And, and do you feel also, because I went through the ex literally those two steps, exactly what you just said. And then there was like yeah, a yeah. third one towards this past year or two that there was like that feeling, but it, there was some sort of, um, I don't know why maturity keeps coming to mind when I say it, but there, there, I, I think maybe because we were there for eight, nine years that there's mm -hmm. something like, because when we first had our first kiss, we were still these these characters telling a love story that people loved but then yeah add seven years on that we became yeah I, I, can you you know what i'm trying to say I, I can't find the words for it but there's something more deep it's evolved yeah now than even back then i can feel the love in a different way yeah that's actually a great point yeah i mean i agree i wouldn't really know how to like, put it into words either um but yeah, definitely. Yeah, at that time, it's it's just uh, you can definitely feel it just from the from the audience. So everyone who's listening and watching, just thank you because mm -hmm. these nine years, I always say, could not have been done without the true support yeah. because they could have yeah eighty six this storyline years ago so but fast yeah support and uh, you know it, it's just been phenomenal. Um, I have, I have one more that I'm going to ask because we covered a lot of the other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to ask one of yours first? Yes, I will do one more. Um, Freddie and you work so well together. Do you think y'all could ever do a small project together that might not be <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, think, I think I've, I've, you know, we've determined that, that Freddie and I work work pretty well together so it seems like it'd be yeah a natural fit <laughs> another project yeah I think it'd be fun to maybe revisit um an idea and like once we get settled maybe even in the new year like kind of connect and maybe throw some ideas around and see if there's even some sort of short film that we could just write and do and you know some like 10 yeah. 12 minute thing that's really like gritty yeah. or something interesting and maybe we can produce it for a couple thousand bucks or something or do something to just get back on screen together and uh do an east coast production of it or something <laughs> yeah that'd be i'd love that that'd be awesome no that would be that would be great um there, there's so many I know, we got but let questions. me let, i'll just we'll just do one more um because i know you're in the middle of moving and all that stuff uh this is weird for me to ask because it seems like i'm seeking a compliment <laughs> <laughs> This I'm one gonna give you came one. from a fan, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> um, how, how would you say uh, our relationship has changed since the first day of working together till now? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, well, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I remember the first day meeting you when you screen tested. And I remember talking to Stuart because I wanted to ask his opinion because I because I watched and I thought of all the of, of, of the guys who are auditioning, you were by far and away my the, the, the person I thought was the best. There's just something so real and and you didn't feel like you needed to overstate anything. It didn't feel like acting. It felt like you were having just, you know, a normal conversation. And, and so I asked Stuart and, and he uh, before I told him how I felt, he also. Uh, uh, mentioned you. So I think from the very beginning, I was, I was really excited to work with you, uh, just because I, I got to see your skill as an actor. But I mean, I think j just like when you work with anyone for a long time, we, we became increasingly comfortable with each other. 
we were able to, like our trust grew to where we were able to feel safe, completely safe in these scenes. If, if you know, if we wanted to try something, you know, unusual or risky, we, we, you know, I always knew you would be there and present to, you know, um, to be, to be there for that and play off of that. And I think, uh, obviously, I, I mean, we have a, we had a French, we have a friendship that grew from that too. You know, it, it, yeah. it was more than just, we're working professionals and we tolerate each other at work. Like I really enjoyed more and more like working with you and also, but also hanging out in the dressing room and just talking about stuff outside of the scene. So, yeah. So it's kind of a rambling answer. No, I, no, I feel the same way. I, and I, I, th I feel like we, we grew together as people too. Like it just, we, we just so yeah. happened to grow as adults into um, caring and being interested in some of the same topics. Like we love talking yeah. about, you know, our, our conversations in the dressing rooms were always great. Um, like critical thinking, yeah. thoughtful conversations. Like we're both informed yeah. in research and, we're, you know, all yeah. about technology and, and money and economics and we love all those yeah. conversations. I think that's why, why, maybe why we would enjoy talking so much is because I, I can't even, I don't think we talked about the entertainment industry. Like that certainly wasn't our main, I mean, of course it like comes up, but we had other interests that align, mm -hmm. you know, which I think was, was a big part of it. Yeah. No, I, I agree, man. And, th and thank you for sharing that about the, the screen test of mine um, and hearing that Stuart yeah. said well, that was really cool. And yeah, Stuart is a fan. And, and it's, it's just cool to, to have um, somebody because I, I think in life, you, you don't ever really, you build special bonds, obviously, with a handful of people, if you're lucky, maybe a dozen in your lifetime. But for you and I to experience this together for the nine years or eight years, whatever, um, it's just unique. You know, I, if I look back yeah. on, on days, and I was like some player on the on the soap, it would have been a different experience than knowing yeah. that you and I, um, like I wouldn't have had as great of an experience or Sonny wouldn't have been Sonny. My acting wouldn't have been as good if it wasn't opposite you. So I credit you yeah, with your talent and hard work and, and professionalism of bringing out that amazing work in me. And that's how I always think of it. <laughs> all those scenes, man. It was just, it's just so easy. I was never stressed. Yeah. Anytime it was just like me and you scenes. Yeah. I'll learn that in the makeup chair. We'll be good. <laughs> yeah definitely and we had a rapport yeah and i think the main thing is trust right like we 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 knew that we were going to be ready and and uh and that we actually we were going to listen to each other yeah, yeah. <laughs> um well um i i don't want to keep you i know you're moving and i appreciate you always coming Thank on the show this so is your much. uh this is your fourth yeah. time so i think uh if we have you on oh again my gosh. Fifth, we might have to send you like a jacket <laughs> jacket yes <laughs> heck yeah <laughs> So uh, we appreciate Love that. It. And um, and then I know we have some interviews coming up too. Uh, we've got some DMs so uh, we can coordinate. And yeah. so all the, all the uh, fans out there, uh, Chandler and I are going to be uh, doing a couple other shows and interviews together. And so if I didn't get to your question, maybe we'll be asked there and we can answer them. But, um, but we appreciate all of you. I mean, you know, this is like Sonny said, goodbye for now. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> and yeah. uh, you can continue to follow our journey in real life. And uh, as we make our way, across country for this next yeah. chapter so it'll be so good man crazy. but i appreciate Thank you, for you your man time. yeah we really appreciate it. i know you're moving hey, thanks for having me on of course and yeah. let me know how your trip of course goes. i'm gonna make time oh yeah we'll do yeah text me when you get to georgia and let me know uh about the jobs and all that stuff i'm really yeah. just curious yeah. to keep in touch with you um just as we make this transition together because we're both going to be doing the same thing it'll be cool to just see what's what's going on yeah, likewise. And and obviously you you text me as well on your trip. I'll, I'll be interested to hear like how yours went compared to mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome, brother. Well, thank you for everything and um and then we'll be, we'll stay in touch for sure and uh and I wish you a safe trip cross country. Enjoy your enjoy your time with your grandpa. Thank you. All right, I'll talk to you. Talk to you soon. All right, man. Bye.